Let's get more reaction from China, a big foreign policy challenge for the United States. Mr. Trump hasn't enjoyed the best of relations with Beijing. Both countries battling out this very bitter trade war. The uncertainty and volatility have hurt businesses and weighed on the global economy. Well, as for what happens next uh, and who will occupy the White House come January, uh, joining us from Shanghai is Professor Zhang Weiwei, Director of the China Institute at Fudan University. Thank you very much indeed for joining me. Um, how would you sum up uh, Chinese-US relations right now and do you expect them to improve in the next four years? <laughs> Well, it's true that they're not a very uh, ideal. A lot of problems and trade wars, tax wars, the list goes on. We hope that there'll be a slightly better situation when the dust settles down with the election. So when, when you talk about um, trade war, um, yeah. who do you think has suffered most from that? Has it been the US or has it been China? Uh, from my point of view, I think most uh, economists and specialists also concur to this view. The US suffered more. If you look at the statistics, the trade surplus, uh, the trade deficits continues to grow for the United States and uh, not, much, not many jobs created as the United States citizens pay more for their uh, many products. So I think even uh, people like Zurich, the former head of the World Bank, uh, prefer to stop this trade war. He's a Republican. I think uh, the both sides, whether Biden or Trump, will realize this. Zhang Weiwei, does the Chinese leadership have an opinion here on who they would like to win this election? Is it President Trump? <laughs> No, they are very cautious, they don't say anything about this. No, actually, we are prepared for the worst. When we already experienced perhaps uh, something bad or worse, it should be okay. You know, and let's wait for the final, final result. Yeah. It seems the situation is very chaotic and it will maybe divisive, polarized, contested. Eventually, who knows what will happen. We think the United States needs more political reform. Otherwise, the country will go way down. Zhang Weiwei, thank you very much for joining us with your thoughts from Shanghai.